right, we're gonna try this barbecue place out here in Rochita. I wish I could pronounce this name. Maybe it's called Gotcha, possibly. I don't know. You gotta put your name in. It's obviously very popular. Okay, so the buffet is 219 baht a person for an adult. And uh, they're gonna bring us a big thing of fire. And I guess you just start helping yourself. I die, shame it. So I'll just walk through and show you the stuff that they're serving up here. So we got drinks, big vat of ice, a soda machine. Various fruit drinks. Over here we got some rice. Yum. Fried chicken. Fried chicken nuggets. French fries. Watermelon. Pineapple. A variety of meats. Bacon. Pork. And butter up butter up here and then we got a whole bunch of vegetables obviously a lot of mushrooms peppers and a little later a little some ice cream a lot of different flavors actually got some juices you can buy garlic chilies Sauces, spicy sauce, seafood sauce, not sure about that one, it looks sweet. Marinated porks, some seafood. Fish, hot dogs, all right. Yes, it looks pretty good for 219 baht. I shall be back. So we got a griddle here. I put some butter on there. I get some vegetables sauteing up here. Um, they can bring you beef. It's not in the it's not in the buffet room because beef costs a lot of money here. Well, more than pork. But I'm gonna keep asking for it. Darn it. I'll put that back. All right, so the, I got a plate of various marinated forks, you know, these vegetables some more pork, and then some uh, lettuce wraps and basil. I'll try these three sauces later, soda, and I'll be back when something's cooked. You probably can't tell, but on uh, that sign over there, I'm just reading the prices here. So an adult is 219 baht, but the drink is not included. So the free refill drink is 39 baht, 
And then if you want to get cheese, one cup of cheese is 29 baht. So those are the prices that I can read off. All right, so I've got some beef here. You know, these four things are full of beef. I got cooked away. Let's try some of these sauces now. Oh, that looks pretty good too. I'm gonna start with this uh, seafood sauce, which is generally pretty good everywhere. It's pretty consistent in its flavor. Yeah, it's like uh, Sorry, I'm eating. It's got lime juice and this green chili. It's a little sweet as well. So, it's tangy. It's a tangy sauce. Alright. Let's get a little beef in this thing. This looks like a barbecue sauce. The black pepper sauce. I gotta say, this beef is very gnarly. It's uh, not the softest beef, even though it's sliced very thin. It's a little bit chewy. As uh, I guess one would expect from a... Well, I gotta say, I've had better beef at cheap buffets than this place. So this beef, at least this first cut of beef. I don't know what cut of beef it is, though. This sauce is pretty mild. It's, it looks like there's chili peppers, but it, it's not spicy at all. It's sweet. It's not a suki sauce, though. I skipped the suki sauce. I don't really like suki sauce. All right, well anyway, so that first beef was a, this first beef is a little bit chewy. I'm gonna try this one. So we'll put this on. Let that cook. Let me eat this stuff and I'll come back when I have a, some of the pork and stuff cooked as well. Okay, so. I guess one criticism of this place is this frying pan is so small, you know, with two people, you only have that much cooking surface to work with. And because these meats take so long to cook, I, I'm really not even cooking vegetables with right right now. Anyways, this beef is cooked, so let's try it. This beef is this one. Boy. That beef is just as tough as the other kind of beef. But really chewy. Even though it's sliced thinly, it's, it's like a... It's not a soft beef, so... I had to spit that out. And, uh, I don't know, there's something gross about that beef. So this is pork now. Let's see what this is. Some sort of marinated... Try it the way it is. Hmm. Now this is really soft because it's marinated quite a bit. Uh, I don't know what flavor it is. It's a little salty. It's just salty pork. I can't really make out the flavor. This one here. I got. can't say what flavor that is either but uh not very good okay that last one was pretty good I think that was a sesame sauce sesame marinated one and uh, the, the shrimp is really soft and good here apparently I, I usually stick to land-based animals but I'll just take a bite out of this tail Yeah. It was it's shrimp. What do you? There's nothing wrong with it. 
Uh, I just don't like grilled shrimp so much, but this is, is good. It's pretty big, it's a big shrimp. Give him credit there. Okay, what's this? This looks like a pepper, the black pepper pork. Hmm. That one's very soft. So the theme with the pork is they marinated them for a long time because the, the meat's really soft and tender. This one was orange when I put it on there. Let's see, I think it's a pork again. It's salty, I, I don't know what the flavor is. It definitely has more flavor than just plain pork. I can't make out what it is though. I'm gonna let that one cook a little longer. Here we go, a little basil and this pork here. Hmm. Yep. That's good. This is a very white looking piece of pork. Very mild flavor, but that's what the sauce is for. So oddly today, I think I actually like the pork more than the beef. It's usually the other way around. I still have some bacon I'll put up here, but we'll see. And this other is just uh, also a non-bacon piece of pork in there. All right, let's try to try, it's time to try some bacon. Yeah, the bacon's really soft as it should be. Well, actually, pork belly. There's no smoked flavor, so I guess that would just be called pork belly. But, uh, you know, with a lot of fat in it, it's quite uh, flavorful. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So it's taking a while to cook this stuff, sadly. Oh well. Alright, look at this big slab of pork here. That looks pretty nice. Let's try this one out. It's gonna be hot. Yeah, that's very good. It's not too tough. This is the not. This one that has no marinade on it. It's kind of like that right there, the raw stuff. But it's very good. It's just straight up pork flavor. So maybe a little sauce will help this one out. But I like it. It's obviously a big chunk. Yeah, good. Okay, so here's the bill. So it's basically with two unlimited drinks, the entire bill is 516 baht, which is around $15. In summary, this is, you know, not the greatest buffet, but when you figure that it only costs like seven, eight dollars a person to eat, then that's a pretty darn good buffet, considering it's mostly meat, right? So factor that in. If you're used to going to really fancy places, well, a seven or eight dollar buffet might not be your thing. But I like it. Alright, take care guys.